Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, today I want to talk about what is peace. You know, we've all heard Miss Congeniality with Sandra Bullock where she says, I want world peace. But what is peace? If we go over to Google, under the dictionary, it says there's two options. One says freedom from disturbance, tranquility. The other one says a state or period in which there is no war or a war has ended. No, war means peace. But is that true? No. When we look at spiritual war, it's that chaos of emotions. And we create these emotional attachments to other beings, people, houses, cars, trees, pets. So we get these emotional connections to everything around us, okay? Even me and my computer mouse has some sort of emotional connection because I rely on it to do my work on the computer, right? So when we think of this emotional connection that we have, like, and if you want to talk about a war where it's one country goes against the other war, two tribes go to war, you know that song, right? Okay, so what we've got is we've got differences of opinions. We've got someone being offended. And most of all, we've got people who are egotistical, whereby they don't like what the other person is doing. That's why we have a war, okay? So when we have a war within ourselves, we get triggered, which chemicals within our body create this outburst. Have you ever heard of knee-jerk reactions? Or where people say, I've got the whole world weight on my shoulders, okay? Those sort of phrases all represent when we're carrying energetic emotions around with us, okay? So when we've got, I'll just go there because I'm sure we all agree with this one. When we've got someone in our family who we don't get on with, right? Let's just say it like that. You don't get on with someone in your family, right? What happens is when they do something, we get triggered. We get this emotion that's created. Okay? So, I don't know, I'm just going to make up a scenario. You don't like your brother because he goes out drinking all the time. And here you are, you're a person who wants to stay at home and try and save money. So you're sitting there, why does he get to go out all the time? I'm, I'm just broke, I'm trying to save money. He's always going out. So we're having this emotional outburst, which is a trigger to what the other person is doing. True peace comes when we can look at that other person, country, car, tree, pet, whatever it is. But when we can truly look at that other person or thing and we can say to ourselves, I have no emotion to what you are causing. Wow, that's strong words. That is so strong words. Okay? When we can say to our brother, Instead of saying, oh, what are you always going out for? I'm trying to say, I'm going, do, 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 do. that's an emotional reaction to what they are doing. But if we can stop that emotional reflex, oh, that's a big one for today. If we can stop that emotional reflex and say, you know what? I allow you to be whoever you are because we're not con connected at the hip. And I don't care what you do because caring would be an emotional reaction to what you're doing so i am at peace with what you do now here's the real big doozy how often can we do that with our own lives 
Do you ever go out and you come home and think, oh, my God, why did I just do that? That's actually an emotional reaction to what we've done earlier in our day. So when we can find inner peace, inner peace comes when we are not affected emotionally by what we have done. Whoa, that's a big one. Okay, how do we go about getting or acquiring this? Is by simply learning to say, I only did what I could do at the time with the limited information that I had and now I can understand, now I can relate, now I can be compassionate why I did that yesterday. I was trying my best. It wasn't my fault it didn't work out. But I tried my best, so I am proud of myself for trying. I respect myself for wanting to get out and doing it in the first place. And most of all, I still love myself because I'm now identifying that this is a woman who does want to strive to be her best. So therefore, we can release, let it go, stop Thinking about what we did yesterday, last month, last year, three decades ago. And we find that peace within where we have no emotional energy that is created by the thought of what we or someone else has done. That's how we find peace. And if we could be in a country where there's another country, where this country doesn't care what the others do. And if we, if that country could say to the other country, I'm just going to allow you to do whatever you want because at the end of the day, you don't, you're not on my turf. You're not on my part of the land. We'd have world peace. But all these different countries, ego-driven politicians because politicians run company um, um run governments right it takes ego to create emotion so when we take our em- emotions out of an equation we're actually letting go of our ego i don't care what you do you can do whatever you like i'm gonna love you anyway But don't come to me with your sob story because I still love you and I'll try and support you. But there's no emotional connection to what that person has now done to me. Okay? That's how we heal. That's how we forgive. And most of all, that's how we become peace. Hope this has helped you today. Talk to you all soon. Bye.